Okay. Hello. Yes. Yeah. So James, what are we doing today? Uh, we're are recording uh, our version of Pyramid Song, which is a song by Radiohead off of their al album Amnesiac. Oh, that's very interesting, James. And um, <laughs> yeah, so we've uh, we've sort of arranged it, or we're in the process of arranging it for yeah. piano and violin. And it's mostly a piano-driven piece with some strings as an extra layer, sort of, to add well, some color to it. I don't know if I call it piano-driven, it's just kind of chords, but whatever. Eh, you know. Piano keeps the beat, well, for our purposes anyway. We may add, add in drums later, depending on how much it sucks or not. Um, yes. I'm not pulling this in anything in particular, so don't worry about that. Um, string effects. <laughs> yep, string effects. Always good. Maybe <laughs> play one or something, I don't know. I don't know, the strings are doing boring stuff. Boring stuff, but it adds a, a very interesting layer. <laughs> Although the line may not be complex. <laughs> so, you know, you have a... At the beginning, you'll notice there's like a little string swell that we're going to do in a few layers on GarageBand over there. A lot of layers on GarageBand. Yes. Over there. So we have, uh, I don't know, basically uh, four or five violin parts going at once for that little swell. So we have... Oh, that's um, it? Okay. The, well, that one swell. And oh, we'll right, the right. The other parts later okay. on. So. so we have, um, so we have the violins holding a B, natural. For forever. And then we have another layer where this, th another violin does a trill to a C above that B. That's annoying. And then another layer that is that same B to an F sharp. And then two lines where I just make general string noise and that sort of thing go through some harmonics on the violin. So, I don't know, you just do stuff like... You just go through that sort of thing. Maybe change up articulation and that sort of thing every so often, you know, like... Just make noise so uh, you get a general background effect in the piece, and that will increase as the song goes along, gain some emotional intensity to it. And yeah, then we have the other string parts in the songs that will be recorded on different layers, and most of them have... Um, uh, yeah, you know what layers look like, what am I doing? Okay. Yeah, most of them have multiple, um, multiple violin parts that I'll, I'll be recording all of these violin parts um, on GarageBand. And uh, yeah, so we'll be doing that. Four chords, basically. You know, just start with your. Anybody can play that chord. So it just goes up the scale. Right? Like ridiculous. I, I hate it. And you just add F sharp on top, and look, you've got. And occasionally he changes it up. Same chord. You go. I get the easy job. The hard part is the rhythm. I figured this out. It's two half notes and then a five eighths and then two more half notes and then it keeps repeating. That's the microphone. That that microphone, we've recorded all our stuff so far on that one microphone. And as you can see, you it's nothing closely. special. If you look closely, it says Guitar Hero on it. And that's because I got this microphone when I bought uh, Guitar Hero World Tour. And that's the Guitar Hero that's like Rock Band, where you have the drums and you have the voice and all that stuff. So. Anyways, it conveniently is also a USB microphone. Oh yeah. <laughs> that uh, after experimenting on my computer, I noticed that it doesn't only work with the Nintendo Wii. It actually works with computers. Ooh, fancy computers. Yeah, fancy. Yeah, like a MacBook, which is. Yeah, really like fancy. like this fancy computer that Scott's working on right now. Yeah. We're done recording. It took five hours, but we did it. Listen to it unedited, make sure everything works. Uh -huh.